The movement stretch breaks are going to be different every week. Sometimes we won't move. Sometimes we'll move a lot. Holding stretches just kind of depends. But right now we're going to start lying on our back. So we're going to stretch our piriformis muscle. Tiny little muscle here. So I want you to lie on your back. Bring your right leg up. So your right knee is out to the right and the bottom of that foot is to the left. And just pull on that ankle and just hold. We're going to hold a lot of stretches today. Focus on your breathing. In a little bit, we're going to bring our left leg and we're going to use that left knee to push against our right ankle. And bring that knee up. You can grab the back of your left thigh if you want, kind of make that figure four, or you can keep holding on to that ankle either way. Bring in those knees, that left knee into the chest. Feel that stretch in the inner right and outer thigh. Five seconds left, and then we're going to go to our left leg. Three, two, one. Send the right leg straight down. Don't bring that knee up yet. Just pull on that left ankle. Left knee is pointed off to the left side. Good, five seconds left and we'll bring that right knee up. Three, two, one. Knee comes up now to that ankle. Again, you can grab behind the right thigh or you can keep pulling that ankle, but a little push-pull contrast here. Five seconds left, and then we're gonna lie on our sides. Three, two, one. Go ahead and lie on your left side. You're gonna grab that bottom leg, so that left leg, grab that ankle, and then your top knee is gonna come up onto the ground. So you're gonna be a little twisted. So we're grabbing our left ankle, and our right knee is flat on the ground. And just hold this here. We're slowly going to lower ourselves down to the ground. Three, two, one. If you need to, set yourself up, but then allow yourself to fall down so you can have your whole side on the ground. Keep tucking, pulling that right knee into the belly button. Keep pulling that bottom leg, pulling that ankle. Bring that heel to the glutes. You can relax your head and neck. I'm just keeping mine up so I can see you guys. Five seconds left and then we're gonna lie on our other side. Three, two, one. Good, other side now. So when we start, prop yourself up first. So bottom leg, so now the right, you're grabbing on that ankle. And then now that top leg, that top knee, Rest it on the ground and bring it up towards your belly button as best as you can. Good. Prop yourself up to allow yourself to go down farther. Again, you can have your palm in your hand pulling that head or you can lie all the way down. But keep pulling that top knee into the belly button and keep pulling that heel to the glute behind you. Good, five seconds left. Three, two, one, good. Come on up, we're gonna go into child's pose. But we're gonna reach out to the side with it. So you're gonna have toes together, knees apart, and you're gonna sit back on those heels. And instead of having your arm straight out in front of you, I want that right arm off to the side and your left hand on top of it. And you're just gonna lean back 
but you're also gonna lean left and look right. So I'm leaning to my left, I'm looking to my right. My left hand is on top of my right, pushing my hips back. Lean that body to the left, but turn that head to the right. Should feel that stretch in your upper body, side of the back, the torso, and then of course our hips. Keep pushing that ground away from you. Keep pushing those hips back. Three, two, one. Good, come back center. Now our left all the way off to the side, right on top of left, lean right and look left. Kind of leaning that right shoulder into the right, but we're reaching to the left. We're looking left, pushing those hips back. This is stretching out our lats, our upper back muscles. Keep leaning right with that right shoulder. Don't hold your breath. Four, three, two, one. Good, all right. Now you're gonna come up on all fours in that quadruped position. So those hands are directly below your shoulders, except for you're gonna have one hand behind your head and you're gonna kind of rotate to that side. So whatever side you wanna start with, I'm gonna start with my right hand behind my head and I'm going to open up to the right and then come back to flat back. So if you have your left hand behind your head, then you're gonna open up to your left. Your legs and those hips stay exactly where they are. This is just for our upper body and that torso. Try not to rotate your hips. Five seconds left and we'll switch sides. Three, two, one. Good, other hand now. You might feel more limber on one side, that's okay. Breathe through it. Job less than 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Our next one is just a simple high plank. We're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. So keep those hands where they were, extend those legs straight back, make that nice long line with your torso and hold. If you need to modify this, you're gonna hold that quadruped position on those knees, okay? Job already halfway there. Don't hold your breath. Three, two, one. Push and walk those hands into down dog. I'm gonna go out the side for you so you can see me. And we're gonna do calf pumps. So just bending one knee, straightening the other, dropping that heel down as low as you can get it so you feel that stretch in those calves. Go at your own pace, but keep pushing that tailbone up to the sky. Keep going. Apply pressure with those palms into the ground. Drop that one heel as low as you can get it. Feel that stretch in those calves. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Walk those hands to your feet. Slowly roll yourself up to standing. Next, you're gonna grab opposite elbow and just slowly go into a forward fold. Legs are straight, back is flat, and just rocking from side to side. Allow your head and neck to become heavy and just hold that rocking position. Focus on your breathing, close your eyes. Top part of your body is very heavy. And just rock from side to side. Keep those legs straight, push those hips back. 
The only thing really moving is your upper body. Good, three, two, one. Walk those legs out a little bit wider and let's keep those legs straight and go for the right. Just hold here. If you can only get to the knee or the calf, that's fine. If you can get all the way to the ground, go for it. Feel that stretch again in our calves, the back of our hamstrings. Keep that head and neck looking down. Don't strain your head or neck. Three, two, one. Walk those hands over to the left now. Same thing, legs are straight. Upper body is heavy as you just reach and stretch for that left foot, left ankle, whatever you got. Last three, two, one. Keeping our legs where they're at, we're gonna keep pushing our hips back and you're gonna go to the front and then straight back behind you. So just two points of movement here. So straight and then all the way to the back. That's really gonna feel that stretch in those hamstrings when you reach those arms and those hands through the legs. Keep those limbs straight, push those hips back every time you move those arms. Good, keep a flat back. Fifteen seconds left, go at your own pace, don't rush. Three, two, one, set those feet in just about shoulder width. And our last stretch today is just torso twist. So slight bend in the knees, bring those arms up, plant those feet as you twist from the right to the left. Good job, 10 seconds left. Last three, two, one. Awesome job with our movement break today.